Eon is a maternity model. That's cheating. I love her, but that's cheating. Now, Eon calling the plus size model super size, that's a mistake with her English. Madam Jenkins talking about black content creators, that ain't, that ain't. It has prejudicial undertones. So we getting everything together for Lisa's maternity fashion show. My goodness, we already are light years ahead of She by Sheree. Meanwhile, across town, Nina and Caroline are taking their kids out. Oh, I guess they getting a suite at the Atlantis while Carolyn's house getting built. It's a nice hotel. So Nina said when she first met Carolyn, she was a little standoffish, but now they're having a slumber party. Carolyn, daughter, show up and tell her you better not have no baby with your man child. She probably got a point. Later that night, Ian and Lisa go to dinner, and Brooks is going to be there. Ian and brought this heifer a pot of lemons because she's so bitter. Now that's a prop. Oh, thank God they found Lisa's missing girl. <laughs> you really going to keep it as a pet? So Brooks gets there, and Chanel says, well, let's make some lemonade out of these lemons because I know we're both upset with each other. Okay, girl. A sour switch up. So Brooks's problem is she thinks Chanel has iced her out. Chanel says, well, you know, my husband wasn't home. I had to deal with my mama, my sister, my cousins, and my friends. So I just needed some time since I didn't get an invitation. I actually agree with Chanel. She's like, look, we don't have problems because I didn't call you. Heffa, you didn't call me. It's a two-way street. Lisa says, well, did Stanberry say that she wasn't important? And Brooks says, no, she didn't say that. Just because she didn't say it exactly doesn't mean it wasn't the sentiment of the sentence. Oh, Brooke said I said it in banter. I said I think she's invited who is important to her, which still says Chanel ain't important to her. However, Lisa and Ian tell Brooks, uh, we still think Carolyn was very calculated in not inviting Ian when she invited everybody else. Then Brooks gonna ask Ian if she wanna be the burger person. Ian said she's 50. She is the bigger person, the older person. I'm still a child. So Lisa said Stanberry needs to apologize to Ian because Ian ain't going to apologize to her. They're definitely giving me Giselle and Rob tease, but way prettier and way more interesting. I will agree with Brooks. It's definitely a hive mind over here. Ian did not just say, let's cheers to Wakanda for life. I hear it and I feel it. Later that day, Brooks and Caroline go to the med spa. <laughs> Brooks, why you mad she getting stuff from being an influencer? She may not be that influential, but apparently she's more influential than you for now. I mean, you jumping on a reality show, she been in the game for 10 years. Just getting on my damn nerve. Can't even open the window. It's hot as hell in here. Oh, -ho! Brooks said if you should ask anyone about plastic surgery, ask Sarah. She knows from the ruta to the tuta. It's amazing. Now that shade, Heffa. That shade. So Brooke tells her about the lunch with Ian and Lisa and that Chanel wants an apology. Stanberry says, well, I'll apologize when hell freezes over. And she mad because Lisa's sticking up for Chanel. She gonna say we're grown ass women. You're an old bat. They're grown ass women, but you're the old bat. Okay? Okay out here getting your Frankenstein face on talking about grown. You've grown over ripened and spoiled. So Carolyn's kids are going to Expo and they don't want her to go with them and the husband says, well, because you think you're 22. That's why she's so influential because other crones want to look a little younger. So we're at Lisa's fashion show and Stanberry's the only one of the girls not showing up. No, Stanberry ain't there because she feels like Lisa butted into her fight with you. Lisa said, well, look, paid Instagram followers ain't gonna help me, Heffa, so stay home. Lisa's husband is fine as hell. Stanberry said, I didn't want to act an ass, so I just stayed home from the fashion show. Wow, Lisa's fashion show was amazing. I'd say Sheree take a lesson, but you ain't got that kind of budget or that kind of band. So we all head over to the after party because Nina needs some old fries. And we already talked about her yelling at the waiter on Pop Roast, so we ain't got to get into it. She already said it was just a joke. Ah, ah, no, 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 girl. Don't say it's a spring summer collection. Watch your mouth on that. Girl, I come out with winter. 
For I said about spring, summer, this is housewives. You might jinx it. Lisa, why are you going to say you said Caroline ain't there? No, you ain't. Nina, the peacemaker, is like, oh, it's just the wedding stuff. It's just the wedding. So we open with Stansberry at the construction site for her new house. Now, this is bare bones, but still not giving Chateau Thelma. However, she's starting to backpedal upon the thought of a new baby. I mean, you are 67. You've been raising kids for 40-some years now. I say you take a break. 45. 45, you lying. You are 53 if you're a day. Oh, hell no. He gonna get specific. I don't want somebody else to carry it. Child, then you carry it. Let's put it in your pussy. Getting all particular. You need to be grateful she willing to put up with one for your ass. So if you can't pop out a kid, he gonna leave? Toodles toots. Across town, we're at Brooke's new salon. It too is under construction, but not given she by Sheree. Over with Nina. She's with her husband who's giving fine older gentlemen. This is nobody's coot. So she didn't invite all the girls to Bijan's party. I don't know who Bijan is. Heard of a Bijou theater though. She's got to hurry up and place her order for her Rolls Royce. Why are these things not my choice? They got $33 million license plates? I guess that's why the city's so well funded. Lisa going over business with her husband. Oh, God. Okay, this whole scene with him in the phone, I ain't even buying it. I ain't even buying it. This is some fake drama the producers cooked up. I'm going to go make a snack and let this scene play out. Call me when Brooks is back. Commercial about to come up anyway. I'm making chicken and waffle for breakfast. So now we get Ian and her husband's love story, and she was supposed to marry her cousin and pull the runaway bride. She like, he was fine, but I just wanted something different. Very Belle. I wanted more than this provincial life. They're a beautiful couple. They really are. However, Jan gets a text and Nina's invited her to her birthday. Across town, Sarah and Stanberry are having lunch. Oh, Stanberry said, oh, this is my man's wedding. If he could wear the dress, I'm sure he would. Let him. That's a lot of Bottom's dream. Sarah says, but where were you the day of the fashion show? You were in Pettyville. You were upset Lisa called you out that you owed Ian an apology and you went to Pettyville and stayed the night. I'm sure we'll have a conversation at some time. I just don't have space to do that because your lips and face are too full of filler. That's why you ain't got no space. You look like you're about to burst. We finally get to Bahan's party and it looks like a million dollar affair. This is bigger than anything I've ever seen on Housewives of anything. A new bar has been set. I thought Bijan was a woman all this time because she said he was his second wife, but it's a man. Is that Matt Lauer? So this is the first time Stansberry and Ian have been together, and Ian's like, oh, here she go. So Stanberry talks to Lisa first, and she says, I'm in wedding planning hell, and don't think it's about you. It wasn't. Lisa said, I don't think it's about me, but I think it was because of Ian. No, it wasn't. Ian talking to her husband saying, we have 1% of an issue. Lisa said, well, I have no issues with you, so take it up with her. Stansberry says, well, I think you follow her blindly. No, she calls you. So Ian and Stansberry's husband are getting along. Ian goes to the bathroom to check for Lisa's phone because she can't find it. And Stansberry's like, why he got to get along with her? Because he better than you. Oh, God. Stansberry said, my husband's become one of them. And Lisa says, who, the fabulous people? Sure, he can be over here. That's why you're over there. Sergio trying to get his wife to calm down. And now Lisa like, oh, I'm gonna hold his hand. Stanberry says, I hope she And everybody like, oh. Nina's like, oh, that was classless. The tramp of Trafalgar Square strikes again. Lisa said, uh-uh, no, no. He gonna say, baby, why'd you say that? So Stanberry has to run off. For what? So Ian comes back from the bathroom with her phone and Lisa fills her in on what happened with Stanberry and her man. So Stanberry comes back and Ian says, look, I'm really trying, Caroline. Stanberry says, oh, I didn't say he's become one of them. You just said it and we rolled tape. Heffa, you've been on reality shows before. You can't lie. 
Stanberry tells the aunt she's stirring the turd because she didn't say that. Now Stanberry gaslighting everybody. I said I thought that was actually nice, but I didn't even understand what our problem was. But now, Lisa, you're the one stirring everything. No, you're trying to be Lisa Vanderpump. Stanberry said, well, I actually don't have to explain anything to you. Lisa's like, but you said I was stirring the turd. So Sergio take his woman for a walk, because you know sometimes you need a little girl talk. So now Lisa fills Brooke in on what happened with Caroline about her not coming to the fashion show. And she said, look, if you have a problem with Ian, you could still show up for me. Nina walk off with her man. She like, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> Lisa said, don't act like you, Queen B. I could buy your life. So Stanberry comes back to the table again with Sergio, but she's like, keep me away from her. He's like, okay, but just speak normal to her. Try that. Just be normal. She don't know how to be. Eon says, Carolyn, I don't have a thing with you. You have a thing with me, and I don't get it. So Caroline says, well, it may have been a misunderstanding. And Ion's like, let me finish, let me finish. I want to build a relationship with you. I just feel like you've been building this stuff up with me. And everybody's like, yes, let's do it. Be friends. Because they sick of the squabble. So they hug it out and we continue the party. So we end it with everybody happy. But now Lisa's pissed. Pissed at Stanberry. All right, well, that was the show. So I'm going to see you soon for something. Bitch, stop clocking my pussy miles. Stop clocking my pussy miles. Bitch, stop clocking my pussy miles. Uh uh. Uh uh. This ain't your odometer. Not your odometer. Not your odometer. Uh uh. Uh uh.